Those people that lost their $600 that could face foreclosure, what do you suggest they do? What do you suggest those people who lost their $600 do if they don't have the money they need to buy groceries this week or with October 1 coming, they can't pay their mortgage or, or um, their rent? What, do you, what are they to do, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary? Well, I, I think, as you know, because that expired, the president was forced to move forward with executive action. So we are still providing those people. And again, I would encourage well, both providing, the Democrats and the Republicans to sit down together. There is an agreement on extended uh, Mr. Secretary, I'm sorry my time's expired. You, you were, the president wasn't forced to do that. The president could have gotten his majority leader, who always does his bidding, and the Republican caucus to go along with the Democrats to keep the $600 coming. Don't act like the president was forced to do something. You simply didn't st step up for these workers. $600 a week, 600,000 people in my state lost their unemployment insurance. And you, you if essentially, you and Senator McConnell and the president of the United States are simply saying to those 600,000 Ohioans, sorry, you're on your own. I think that's just a gross misstatement and exaggeration. And, and again, if the Democrats are willing to sit down, I'm willing to sit down any time for bipartisan legislation in the Senate. Let's pass something quickly. And you I would, could, just, I would get, just add... You could, you could get 47 Democratic votes for $600 a week this afternoon if you're willing to do it. For every one of those workers, we all, we all know what that means in our states. We would all vote for it. Bring it forward.